Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for the OPTC video. And in today's video, the New Year's Super Sugo Fest information is live in game. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all four parts that are coming for this New Year's celebration. So, part one, as always, has all Super Sugos and all Sugo Fest exclusives that aren't anniversaries included on the banner and. There is on the 30th multi one of the new three Super Sugo Fest units. We have Roger and Odin, we have Yamato, we have Sanji and Zoro, and all three of these units are incredibly strong. And for a New Year celebration, they are very warranted to summon. So definitely spend your gems here. Hopefully, you guys have been saving over the last couple of months for this particular banner. Yamato will be uh, available from part one, and sorry, the new Yamato will be available from part one and part two. Roger and Odin is part one and part three, and then Sa Zora Sanji is part four. Now, with um, Toki and Kinemon, they are the rare recruits, but you will be able to get all Super Sugo Fest characters on part one. Now, if you're chasing particular Super Sugo Fest characters, you don't really want to be summoning on part one just to get your hands on them, but if you are a big time whale and you're sort of just going for any of these three characters and going to the 30th step, then part one is going to be the play. However, lore is not on this part one. So you cannot get your hands on the, the six plus lore, which is a little bit of a problem, but that's okay. He has his own banner and like you can pick him up elsewhere. Um, plus he's an older character and like you, you probably already have this character from previous Super Sugo Fests. Um, out of them, 20 selected Super Sugo Fest characters uh, will be rate boosted. And then on for different parts, you'll have different Super Sugo. So part two has Law Kid, Sanji, and Nami. Very, very strong part with the new Yamato. Um, the new Yamato is incredibly strong, and these three Super Sugos are all disgusting in their own right. Next, we have part three, which has Luffy, the Awoken Warrior of Liberation, which I do believe is gear five. And then you have... Super Tenem Zora and Robin, again, a very, very strong part alongside the new Roger and Odin. So, Gear 5, Roger, Odin on the same banner, like, what else is there to like? And then Part 4 has Kaido, Olin, and Luffy and Yamato alongside the new Zora Sanji. This is probably the weakest of the parts, has Zora Sanji there, a lot of people are going to be summoning there. So, for me, this is great because I can use dupes of all of these particular characters, which is going to be really, really nice. As always, though, part two, part three, and part four, they're going to have restricted to 30 characters per part. So if you guys are looking for a particular one of these New Year's characters, someone on their parts, I do think Zora Sanji is probably the most valuable to pick up at least one copy of. So if you are limited on gems, um, if you're not going to try, if you try not to spend money, I do think summoning on part four to get one copy of Zora Sanji is going to be the wave. And then you can sort of just move over to probably part two because it's the strongest. But if you're missing gear five... Uh, part 3 is definitely going to be very, very valuable too. Part 3 is incredibly valuable with Rush and Super Tandem dupes for Zoro and Luffy. So actually looking at it, Part 3 is probably a, the strongest. But look, all parts here are just there. There's a lot of value to be had for your account. And uh, if you are a new player summoning, this is, the, this is the time to do it. Like, it's just there's so much good stuff. Plus, there's up to 10 free multis every single day. And one of the multis on... Um, the 26th, I believe, um, that'll have the Super Sugo Fest characters on it. So you will have a chance of getting one of these characters for free, uh, and possibly more. Like, it's very unlikely, but look, it definitely can be done. We have seen it before. It's going to be Rainbow Gem Sales, amazing 300 packs and stuff like that. But let's take a look at the banners themselves. As you can see, we have the new Yamato, Roger Odin, and Zoro Sanji in their post-evolution forms. Then we have the Rare Recruits there. Part 1 starts on the 26th, Part 2 the 27th, Part 3 the 29th. So there is going to be a, a, a break in that particular spot. Uh, I do believe the Blitz starts then, right? Um, no. PK... Okay, no. Blitz is until the 5th. So, a um, bit interesting why they sort of just skip a day there. But look, it is what it is. Um, and then we have Part 4 on the 31st. So again, they're going to be skipping a day for New Year's. So all these banners do go to February 17th. So you have a lot of time to summon. A lot of time at all. So don't stress. There'll be a lot of gems coming. There'll be a lot of stuff down the line. And a lot of events for you guys to grab more gems to keep summoning on these banners. These are the banners to summon on. Like, this, this particular banner is one of the biggest banners of the year. Like, it's, it's, it's chalk and cheese. Especially Part 1. Disgusting value. Having all three of these characters boosted. And basically having... Um, Kaido versus Yamato and Yamato and Kazuki Odin as well. So you'll have a bunch of other characters here as well. Plus having literally 
every single Super Sugo first exclusive as well. But part one has a lot of very, very good value. Um, the first six steps are basically must summons, in my opinion, if you are spending gems here. Spending the 300 gems and then saving everything else for the Zora Sanji part, or even coming back to this part after grabbing Zora Sanji is great value. One, the first multi is a rate boosted character, but then two, three, four, five have a guaranteed Sugo. The six multi is a rate boosted Sugo, which is awesome. And then 10th, 15th is great value too. The 20th step is a Super Sugo Fest guaranteed unit. Not one of the new ones, just any Super Sugo Fest. All posters uh, have a 50% chance of being uh, Sugo rare on the 24th. And then the 30th is one of the new Super Sugo characters. So like I said, the first six steps are terrific value. But if you are searching for particular New Year's units, make sure to pick them up first. On part two, three, and four... Uh, the steps do get a little bit worse, but remember, each particular part is segued into 30 units. Um, 2, 3, 5 has a limited pool, 10 has a limited pool, and then the 30th is either guaranteed Yamato, Roger Odin, or Zoro Sanji, whichever part you're pulling on. As for the other steps, there's just so many of these rate boosted steps. They're great for rare recruits, I guess, but at the end of the day, like, we just want legends. It is a 15% red, uh, red rate, so you should be seeing like 1 to 2 reds per multi regardless, but having that guaranteed red at the end is always nice. Part 1 has the rate boosted characters. You do have the three new Super Sugos, and then they threw in Kaido vs Yamato, V1 Yamato, and V1 Odin. Obviously, V1 Yamato V1 Odin are incredibly old, but vs Kaido Yamato is a great pickup here if you guys are missing that. You have Momo boosted on this part, which is awesome. I know a lot of people will be looking for Super Tandem dupes of that unit. Um, ben Beckman, like you, is another Super Tandem unit that a lot of people want. Alba, Whitebeard vs. Blackbeard, and then Koala and Robin is a great unit here too. Kader, uh, Kinden, and Law are still fantastic. And then looking at the bottom row, you've got some great options for level limit break when it comes to Grand Voyage. Cracker, Whitebeard, Law, Kuzan, these are all fantastic pickups if you guys are missing level limit break 5. As for the Super Sugo Fest only characters, you have every single one here, as you can see. Dupes for stuff like Roger Whitebeard, V2, um, Straw Hat Crew is great. Sanji, Claw, Gear 5, Zora. Like the, the characters you can pick up here just on a random like red are incredibly strong. But remember, if you're chasing something like Gear 5, like don't summon on part 1 for Gear 5. They like, target that particular part. If you guys are missing something like Super Tandem Luffy, unfortunately, he's not rate boosted anywhere. You're just going to have to try your luck on part 1. But these types of characters, you shouldn't really be chasing anyway. On part two, we have those characters we spoke about. Claw, I would love more dupes of. Sanji and Nami, I do have rainbowed. But the Yamato is very illustrious. Um, great final tap unit. And I would highly... I highly want to avoid this part if I can. But um, if I have to go in for Yamato, I will. And hopefully we can pick up some claw copies along the way. As for everything else on this banner, like there's nothing that really stands out to me as useful or needed. Um, Jack and Tesoro are the only two that I can see that are great for Rumble. Versa Kainu and um, Ace are great, but all these characters can be picked up on tickets, obviously. And as for the new ones, um, what's his name? Kanjiro is probably the only one that stands out, and Jack maybe as like pickups that you'd want to have for your account, but at the same time, like they're not super crazy units. The limited pool looks a little bit like this you have Claw, you have Nami. Um, they're very, very good. Sanji's obviously on the limited pool step as well. And then the super limited pool basically includes just the newer characters like Whitebeard, Jack, and Izo, Kanjiro, and then the super sugos there. As for part three, you have Izo and Fuji, Black Marine, Ulti, Shanks, and Buggy. Queen is a great pickup here as well if you guys are missing that. And Sop Sop are fantastic for high damage teams. As for level limit break fodder, there's not too much here. Carrot's probably the best thing you can see. One or Law when he gets his six plus and stuff like that's going to be great too. But really, if you're summoning on this particular part, you're looking for stuff like Rush Luffy dupes. You're looking for Super Tenem uh, Zoro dupes. You're looking for um, Rush dupes of... Um, Odin and Roger. The big pickups here are Roger and Odin and Luffy. So if I'm summoning here, like I'm hopefully going to be seeing a couple of those. As for the limited pool step, Queen's there, which is great. Brooks great for Grand, um, Grand Voyage. And then you have those big boppers that I spoke about on the super limited step being Kuji, uh, Kuji, uh, Fuji and Kazaru, Black Mary Ulti, Shanks Buggy, those types of units there. As for part four, a lot of people probably say part four is the weakest. Um, but for me, personally, uh, I think it's a really, really strong part because... Utah was a skippable banner, so most people will be missing something like Utah. Even stuff like Koala and Robin, unless you picked up from a ticket, you're probably missing two. And as for these top characters here, a lot of people would just get one and dip. So if you pick up Kaido dupes, you pick up um, Olin dupes, if you pick up your Luffy Yamato dupes, you can probably use them. However, with Zoro and Sanji, they're kind of a one and done unit, so you grab one copy and then you dip. So as for that, everything else, like if you get them early, you're probably going to bail out on this part anyway. Utah's a great pickup. Um, and then... 
Koala Robin's a great pickup. Marco's good for EXP, but everything else is kind of whatever. Corazon does work really, really well with the new 6 plus lore, but as for that, you're not really looking at anything else on this particular part. The Super Sugos are great. Koala Robin's okay, but Uta is a fantastic solo standalone legend, and hopefully you guys can pick her up there too. But all in all, like I said, I do believe getting one copy of Zoro Sanji is going to be the play, and then going in on the other parts of your other characters, that's going to be the best move. But hopefully you guys have some good luck on this particular banner. Best of luck to everyone who's summoning, and let me know in the comment section below where you guys will be summoning. What unit are you guys chasing, and who are you most excited for for this particular celebration? While you're down there, belt like button, hit the subscribe button. Do all that good stuff for me. Most importantly, if you guys are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye!